Warzone Pacific is coming out soon. It was actually supposed to come out, I think, uh, December 2nd, so that's in a day or so. It got delayed. Vanguard Season 1 got delayed. Warzone Pacific got delayed. We're now getting some first looks at the new map, some new game changes, fixes, tuning, a ton of different things. So we're going to go over it in this video. We're going to do a little bit of a different different type of video than we normally do. Let's jump into it. So all this was tweeted today on the 30th, all from the Call of Duty account. I'm reading this off of Charlie Intel. So Call of Duty tweeted out this video of the new Warzone Pacific map, kind of just showing off different things and everything that's to come. Travelers, explorers, adventure seekers. With all travel bans to Caldera lifted, you may now book tickets to Caldera on Pacific Horizon Air. Caldera, a hidden paradise. Enjoy awe-inspiring landscapes. Visit sites from Caldera's storied past. Survey the land from above by climbing natural rock formations. Explore underground caves. Take a dip in a river or stream. Fuel up on the artisanal organic produce harvested locally. Caldera, the Emerald of the Pacific. Free flights starting December 9th. Pacific Horizon Air is not responsible for any death, parachute-related accidents, gas-related deaths or injury, anti-aircraft fire, tennis elbow, food poisoning, or any similar instances. Should Pacific Horizon Air become engaged in aerial combat, an early exit may be required. What are you waiting for? Book your trip today. Now, this video, as you can see, was kind of a... Uh, it was it was almost treating Warzone Pacific as, like, a vacation spot. But then towards the end, it starts becoming a little bit different. It starts becoming kind of the Warzone. We got some new cover art. If you liked a certain tweet, they had, like, a, a plane ticket for you. So, we got some new cover art. The new cover art features some new operators that I've never seen before. You can see the new jets. You can kind of see the new Pacific map in the background. So, we're going to go over kind of some of the images that I have here. They tweeted out, actually, a picture of Caldera. I believe that is what they're calling the map now. I have it up here on my computer screen. I'm kind of looking around it. They kind of, they gave us all of the location names. So over there at A is Arsenal, B is Docks, C is Runway, D is Ruins, E is Mine, F is Peak, G is Beachhead, H is Village, I is Lagoon, J is Airfield, K is Fields, L is sub pen, M is power plant, N is capital, and O is resort. So this map does kind of look a little similar to me, like kind of just like how it looks from above to Verdansk, but it's not. I'm just, you know, I'm just an ass. Let's go over some of the images we have here. So we have over here, this looks like, uh, this looks like it could be airfield. And honestly, I'm just taking guesses at these different, uh, places because we got a lot of different ones here. So the next image I'm bringing up with all the, like, boxes, which obviously is shipment as you can see it's kind of like like squared off so that that's got to be shipment i want to say that's probably somewhere at sub pen but it's cool to see shipment in there then we got another one that's kind of uh, off the water with some cranes going around it looks like a, looks like a weird kind of area you can see a street next to it kind of those it kind of looks like obviously it's on the border of something it might be docks but i gotta look at all the different images but i'm thinking it could be docks um not ruins, not mines, maybe sub pen. You got that image, which kind of looks like more of a fancier part of the map, but you can kind of see the beach in the background. So I'm I'm thinking maybe that is still on the beach somewhere, maybe around trying to match like where the names would kind of be. I would kind of consider this to be power plant, maybe capital because power plant to capital or M and N and you could kind of see it could, could be that. But then you have this other image here. I would either assume that this is the same place just from a different angle or this place is just the opposite. So if the other one that I just said is power plant, this one's capital and vice versa. This one is capital and the other one is power plant. And this image too also could be that. This looks more of a capital-like place. All right, then you got this image. You can kind of see like a big satellite tower. It looks like a little gas stations, buildings, roads. One of those other ones could be resort too now that I'm looking at it. I would probably assume that this one over here would be maybe like, maybe village. This is tough. I don't I don't know anything yet. And of course you got this other image which looks like it's on the other side of docks. And this one's definitely docks. Docks or lagoon. That's all the images there, but um now let's kind of go over other things here. So one of the first things Charlie Intel tweeted, making Warzone Pacific will include changes to dead silence, removal of stopping power rounds, nerfs to stun and heartbeat sensor. Heartbeat sensor is near and dear to my heart, so that hurts and more. Gas mess will not 
interrupt animations as much anymore so it seems like it's still gonna be there but maybe be less frequent and there's a new item gas canisters don't know what that means swimming is not in war zone but you can walk through shallow waters so maybe when you're in a shallow water you maybe you're like moving slower the gulag is also changing once you win you will drop back in with the weapon you use in the gulag i like that feature i think that's pretty cool it gives you a fighting chance new contracts coming including big game bounty which targets the operator with the highest kill count that's pretty cool so I don't know how that is, so I guess if you pick it up, it kind of works like a bounty. It will kind of come up on the map, but only it won't be like a, somebody near you or whatever. It's going to be somebody with the highest kill count. Maybe you'll get a bigger reward or something. That's cool, though. If you guys didn't know, on December 8th is when this comes out. Only for people who own Vanguard. December 9th, the next day, it will be available for anybody. As you know, too, Ricochet, anti-cheat coming. Another tweet that I love to see. Loadouts can be called in after... The first free loadout in Warzone Pacific, meaning you can't get a nice drop, get a good amount of cash, get your first loadout, and then wait for the free loadout. You cannot buy a loadout until the first free loadout is out. So, in the beginning of the games, there may be some more equal gunfights. And finally, when the map launches, there will be two ways to play this map. Vanguard Royale and Battle Royale. Vanguard Royale exclusively features dogfighting, new vehicles, only Vanguard weapons, and other rule changes. So that seems like it's just going to be a Vanguard-only mode. Anything that new in Vanguard, any guns, weapons, perks, all of that will be specifically to that. And then Battle Royale will have everything from Modern Warfare to Cold War, all guns, operators. You guys got to let me know down below what you think of all these different announcements all these different images and also all these kind of new additions and changes to warzone like the gas mask loadouts all that i'm pretty much i gotta say overall i think it's a pretty positive bunch of changes so you know there's gonna be a lot of things a lot of things that are definitely gonna be needed to tweak out within the first week first month maybe but i feel like we're in a really good we're gonna be in a really good year and i think they said rebirth would come back verdansk i know was done these images look sick it looks so colorful it's got me excited and I cannot wait. Use code TOXIC on Gamer Advantage products. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of all this news. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.